Welcome again, my accountant. Uh, it is our pleasure to serve you. At this time, we're moving to the, to the other side of what we have begun. Yes, in respect of the adjustments to final accounts. We have already looked at the depreciation concept, the provision for bad debt concept, and we have also looked at, have looked at um, the accruals and prepayment as it relates to revenues and expenses. So now we're going to put it all together in the final accounts, that is the income statement and the balance sheet. And we want to share with you now how it would look in the balance sheet and income statement. All right. Before us is a, a, a question, an exercise, and we're going to use this information to apply. So the child balance is given for 2020, and these are the notes that we're going to be using. Closing stock, accrued wages, uh, prepaid rate, and we have um, provision for doubtful debt. It is to be increased by 10%. Of course, um, telephone is owing depreciation using the reducing balance method. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to now make up the income statement. So the income statement for the year ended. That would be December 31st. All right. Now we will commence. We'll be using two major columns, yes, to display the monies. All right. Let's proceed. Sales. We start with our sales. Our sales figure. And our sales figure is 39,500. 39,500. Um, our cost of sale, and our cost of sale is the same thing as, as our cost of goods sold. Okay? Same thing as cost of goods sold. So we're going to put that in now. We're going to list the cost of sales. And the cost of sales is thirty two thousand three hundred and eighty. We're going to subtract that, and when we subtract it, uh, we should be getting seventy one. Yes, twenty seventy one thousand seven thousand one hundred and twenty rather, and that would be our gross. Gross profit, 71,000, sorry, 7,120. 7,120. That would be our gross profit. Now we are going to move to treat with the information here. Now before we do anything else here, we must identify whether or not we have any other revenues. All right, so from our, our sales operation, or gross profit is found. We want to check to see if we have any other revenue in the question. And down the list, we can stop at provision for bad debt for a moment. Why? Because if the provision is decreasing, then it becomes a revenue, right? Once you have provision decreased, the amount it decreased by, it would be added to your gross profit. The provision for doubtful debt that it, the amount that it decreased and it would be added. So, um, okay, well, they indicate that the provision is going to be increasing. So we don't have any, any revenue where that is concerned. All right. So we move on. Are there any other revenue here listed? No. So we can move straight ahead to our expenses now. 
and we can less our expenses. Okay? And uh, we can start right away with the provision for bad debt. Now they are telling us that provision for bad debt coming from the previous period is eight. It is eight um, eighty dollars, right? And they indicated in the note that we should increase the provision by ten percent, right? To increase the provision by ten percent, what we need to do now is to find ten percent of the debtor's figure, which is this figure. Yes. Let me use this marker to identify with blue, which is this figure. We should find 10% of this figure, all right? 10% of, th that is, so, you know, 980 times 10%, and that is going to give us $98, all right? So it is 10% of the 980 would be $98. Now, last year's, um, to determine whether or not it increases, we must compare. We must compare the previous year with the present year. So, um, last year figure, this is last year's figure, which is 80. Right? It's 80. So, when we compare last year figure with this year's figure, we're seeing that it has increased by, what now? By $18. It has increased by 18 so, we are going to record Prophet John, Prophet John for bad debt is $18. Okay? Let's move on now. Our next item is wages. So, we can go wages. And they say wages is 3,000. And in the note, let me just take this so we identify what we have done already. All right. So in the note, it says that we have accrued wages. Now the accrued wages is added to the wages in the trial balance, the one that you have paid. Right? This is the closing, closing accrued. Right? It's added to the wages that is paid right which is three thousand so we're going to add the three thousand plus this amount which is owing which is five hundred and that is going to give us three thousand five hundred we could do it that way yes we can do it that way or we could do it this way I'm making sure I give you all the options. We could say if we had a third column and we have we have add a code. Okay, so it would have been it would have been um, three thousand, right, and five hundred, and we add it, and then we get the three thousand five hundred. All right, either way can be done. Okay, all right. So let's go on. The next item is rate. They indicate to us that, so we have done with this already. They indicated to us that rate is prepaid. We had rate prepaid. All right. Now rate prepaid, prepaid, we're going to now subtract it because it is something that is paid for the, the coming period and not for this period. Right. It is rate, money is paid for rate. For the coming period and not for this so it is prepaid closing prepaid so we have rates yes all right and the rates figure in this would be 600 minus the the prepaid of 550 or 50 rather right and that will give us, uh, what is it now? 550. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and as I say, we could have 
the raised figure and then have less prepaid. Um, either way, it is the same result that you will get. Rates, 600, less, prepaid, of, prepaid is how much again? 50, and that would be um, 550. Our next item on the list is telephone. And telephone is $100 and we, we have Owings for telephone as well. So Owings is the same thing as accrued. So we're going to add it. Add the Owings. And the Owings figure is $22. So it's going to be $122. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use that one. Let's go on. Next item. Well, we have machine at cost. That does not go to an income statement. Van at cost. Doesn't go to income statement. Um, depreciation for machine and so on. Those don't go to income statement. However, um, we're going to take this adjustment. All right. This adjustment in terms of depreciation, we must find 10% of van and we must find 20% of, sorry, 10% of machine, 20% of van and we must do it on the reducing balance method. Now let me see if we can work through that. So we now have depreciation. For machine and for van. Now let's work them out. All right. Now uh, we're told that we must do it on the reducing balance method, and uh, in that lesson I indicate to you, to you that the re in the reducing balance method after the first year you find the the depreciation from the book value, the percentage of from the book value. So. Um, the first thing that we must do now is identify the book value, then find the percentage. To do that, all right, let's deal with machine. Machine at cost. So machine at cost is machine at cost is is what is it now? Six thousand dollars, right? And the depreciation. That we've been carrying the accumulative depreciation is two thousand. That's why it is in the trial balance. The accumulative depreciation is two thousand dollars. So, so the depreciation minus the depreciation, which is the two thousand dollars. This is the depre, the accumulative depreciation with two thousand dollars. When we subtract it, yes, we're going to get the book value, and the book value would be four thousand dollars. Okay. Okay, so the machine is cost at cost is six thousand dollars. The depreciation that I already charged on the machine would have been two thousand. So we subtract the two thousand from the six to give us the four thousand, which is the book value. Now, what, what are we going? What are we going to do next? We're going to find a ten percent of this to get the depreciation for the period that we're under review. So it's going to be you now the four thousand times 10 percent and that is going to give us 400 dollars okay so the machine cost the machine decrease for depreciation would be 400 dollars all right and the same process we're going to take in dealing with van van so the van at cost is four thousand dollars the depreciation that is being carried, accumulative depreciation is 1,000. And we say to determine book value, subtract depreciation from the cost to give you book value. The book value is going to be 3,000. 
we are now going to find 20% of that. 20% of the 3,000 to give us the depreciation for this year. When we do that, 20% of $3,000 is going to be 600, yes? $600, so it's going to be 600. All right, so we'd have completed with that adjustment. Are there any other item relating to the income statement? Yes, this one, bad debt. We have written off a debt and consider it to be bad, and so we're going to be mad charging it to our expense. Right, we charge it in the, in the income statement on the expense. So we have bad debt, and the bad debt figure is twenty dollars. Okay, nothing, no adjustment to that. So now we are going to be adding all of these expenses to subtract it from our gross profit to give us our net profit. All right, let's proceed now to do that calculation. Okay, so now that we, we have calculated the total expenses would be 5,000, 5,000, 210 5210 and that's the total expenses now be subtracted from our gross profit and that difference is going to be 1910 and that is the net profit we can double line to close the income statement so that is the the income statement um, carrying the adjustment for provision for bad debt for accruals prepayment depreciation and bad debt all right so that's the adjustment we are going to now move to look at the balance sheet so let's move quickly to it all right ladies and gentlemen let's continue so we are now going to be looking at the balance sheet and to see the adjustments that would be required in respect of the balance sheet balance sheet beg your pardon, balance sheet okay let's go uh, we start with our fixed assets and uh, our fixed asset machine at cost so we go machine machine at cost and that is six thousand dollars right six thousand dollars um now we're going to less subtract less the depreciation right and this depreciation now is not the present depreciation but the accumulative depreciation. What do I mean? We're going to add this figure using this so you can identify. We're going to add this figure that is the, the accumulative depreciation, the depreciation coming from the previous years, plus the depreciation that we have calculated for machine, which is 400. So it's going to be this plus this 400, the present depreciation, plus the accumulative depreciation we want to put here. So it's going to be 2,000 plus 400 that is going to give us 2,400. And now that would different. The difference is going to be 300, sorry, 3,600. All right? All right, 3,600. Then we're going to go to know what? The van at cost and the van at cost is four thousand so i go four thousand okay we're going to do the same thing we did earlier all right the accumulative depreciation which is one thousand for van plus the current depreciation we have worked out uh so what was it again current depreciation for van 
was 600. Yes, 10, 20 percent of this was 600. 600. So it's going to be um, 1000 plus the 600. So we have less the depreciation. Yes, of 1600. 1600. And therefore, we're going to have what now? 2000. Mm -hmm. 400. Am I right? Yes, that looks like it. All right, so that would how we'll be treating with the adjustment for depreciation in the balance sheet. We're moving now to look at the current assets. Let's go on. Current asset, and we're starting with stock. Now we're going to use it closing stock. So it is going to have our stock of goods others would refer to it as inventory same thing and that is going to be twelve thousand all right uh our next item is in the process now would be our trade debtors now in relation to the trade debtors permit me to write it here or if I could include a column right here and do it. The trade debtors figure would be the 980. We're going to do the adjustment of the provision for doubtful debt. Yes, the provision for bad debt. We're going to less it here. So provision for bad debt is going to be the actual amount not the increase or the decrease when we're going to the income statement we have used the increased amount which was the 18 dollars but really what we're going to be using is the actual uh provision that we have calculated which would be 10 percent where is it again right here 10 percent of the debtors figure and 10 percent of this debtors figure would have been 98 so we put in the 98 here all right, so we're going to subtract, subtract the 98 with the current, current um, provision, yes, from the total debtors. All right, and that looks to me to be two, that's going to be 17, that's going to be eight, my math's right, and it's going to be eight. All right, I hope my math is right where that is concerned, because 17, nine, eight, yeah, okay. So, let's go to the next one. Next item that will come on the agenda in, the, in this now would be our uh, prepayment. Right? So, it's our rates prepaid. The rates prepaid are $50. Okay? All right? Because that is a current asset, right? Uh, all right. Now, next item would be what now? Or cash at bank. And the cash at bank figure is $300. So, we are to add all of this to give us our ter total, our total, uh, current asset. So let's do that. Okay, so in our calculation or addition of these four items here for current asset, we should be looking at 13,000. Yes, is it 13,000? Yes, 232. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Our next move now is to less or to subtract the current liability. And we have our creditors. Same thing as our expense. Oh, sorry, our accounts payable. So our creditors figure is $700. 
and we have uh, the wages accrued and the telephone owing. So accrued figures is what 500 plus the 50 plus the sorry the 22 so it's a 500 and plus a 22 and that is going to give us 522 when we add this we should get uh yes 1222 we're going to subtract now the total current liability total current liability from the total asset and that will give us uh, a difference of 12 yes 12,000 12,010 and this figure is referred to as our working working capital so this is our working capital okay we're going to add the working capital now with the these fixed asset figures so we have zero, we have one, that is 10, yes, 10, so zero, and we're carrying five, 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 six, six and two, eight, so it is 18,010. All right, then we're going to the finance by, how did we finance? The business we start with our capital and our capital figure is 17,900 we're going to add our net profit and our net profit we got in the income statement previously was 1,000 nine hundred and ten dollars so we're going to add these and this looks to me like uh zero one nine eighteen yes eighteen and this is eight this is nine so it's going to be one thousand nineteen thousand nineteen thousand and eight hundred and 810 our last item would have been to subtract our drawings and the joints figure is 1800 1000 what did i say 1800 yes so if i subtract this 1800 i should be getting 18 0 1 zero i double line and that's the end of the balance sheet okay that is it in doing the adjustments in relation to all the items uh accruals repayment provision for bad debt and depreciation and we have done so in this situation Hope that you have understood clearly. If there is any challenge, please drop us a comment and we will be willing, ever too willing to explain where you are still having a challenge. Thank you very much for joining us. This is Kings and Queens Accounting Class. It is our pleasure to share with you. If you liked our video as per usual, please click the like button. And if it's the first time you're watching this, this lesson or lessons such as this please click the sub subscribe button and you will see future lessons pop up and notification immediately thanks again everyone god bless